the director of Spider-Man Homecoming, John Watts. <laughs> We have, we, have just started, we have just started filming this movie in Atlanta, and it's amazing to bring this character portrayed by this guy into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It wouldn't be possible, it wouldn't have been possible without our producing partner on this movie, Amy Pascal, who's out there somewhere, but she is the reason that all of this happened, because she knew what was, uh, putting everything else aside, here's what's best for the character, here's what's best for Spidey, whom everybody loves Spider-Man. Yeah, of course, I mean, it, was, it, was such, I mean, it was such huge news in our world when you guys were getting him back. And to find out that he was gonna be in Civil War and everyone was like, oh, how's this gonna, and then the second you came on screen, it was like, that's the guy, he's the guy. So how, how is this portrayal of Spider-Man different than what we've seen and how are you guys tackling it? Well, first of all, it's a, it's a pretty cool universe to be a part of, right? I mean, jeez. Um, it's a high school movie. It's a straight-up high school movie. It's about a 15-year-old kid. It's, I always describe it as this is the ground level of the Marvel Universe. You know, we know what it's like to be a billionaire playboy inventor, and we know what it's like to be an alien god from another dimension. We're going to learn what it's like to go to the astral plane, and we're also going to learn what it's like, you know, to have just finished going through puberty and be in 10th grade. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> Did you bring some stuff today that you could show everyone? Uh, well, we just started shooting. We should actually be shooting right now, probably. Uh, we shot some of the high, we shot some of the high school stuff. Um, so we can show that. You want to see it? They literally flew here today. They're flying out tonight. We've been shooting for 10 days, but here's what we've been shooting. Yeah! Go recording. Yeah! We got some, uh, we got some of uh, your other high school students here. Uh, if you want to bring them out. Laura, Tony, Zendaya, Jacob. So this is this is kind hey. of like a this is kind of like a John Hughesy kind of a spin. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's okay, just take it, it's, go. man. Wouldn't you really want to tell everyone that you were Spider Man? Yeah. <laughs> if you if you had to keep that secret in high school, man, it would try to be crazy. Yeah, we really tried to just capture sort of the spirit of those movies and, and bring it into this crazy universe. Yeah. Um, how is it for how has it been for you guys so far? Ten days into this, really? I mean, has it sunk in? What's going on? No. Right now it does. <laughs> Everything, like, this moment feels really fake. Yeah. Like, none of this is real. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for being here. I know you guys, I mean, yeah, you're literally yeah, leaving to work. Right? Yeah, you're literally right, leaving right, right after trouble. this to go back and continue shooting. And then uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some more stuff as it rolls out. But it looks yeah. amazing. And again, thank you everyone so you guys, much. And Tom Holland, thank you guys. screamed at like that. Over here, over here, over here. Look at this. Look at me. <laughs> so he did. Turn around. Look at him. Hey, you guys, over here. Over here. Look at me. Over here. Look at me. Look at me. Over here. Over here. <laughs> we have a little more to talk about if you're still interested. <laughs> I mean, uh, how can you? I mean, there's more? There is one other movie that we just finished filming. <laughs> called Guardians of the Galaxy Bob and Ladies and gentlemen, James Gunn.
guys so much.
<laughs> Next, we have a new addition to the Guardians of the Galaxy. It's no way. We do. Yeah. <laughs> We saw it spread out, people were excited, the movie exploded. So now that everyone knows what it is, and you're making another one, what's that pressure now that everyone's like, ah, oh, this better be good? Let me tell you, it's a much better pressure when people are excited to go see your movie instead of waking up at night thinking you might be making a food of mass and not really know what's going on. So, I mean, it's like, it's like people have been very excited, I've been very, uh, you know, touched by all the fans before. I just imagine one guy in Pluto Nash cosplay wadded up his program. I'm sorry, I don't mean to walk down. Probably, maybe that's a little bit of a Chris Pratt. Uh, Saved so many people, and uh, you know what the Guardians of the Galaxy did in the first movie. You know our movie picks up only a couple of months after that, so we're well known now. And he's, you know, we're really picking up where we left off, and he feels like he's part of this group, or not just part of this group, but a, a leader of this group. And, and so he's a, a little bit more responsible and trying hard to stay out of trouble, but not necessarily doing the best job. Yeah. So no. <laughs> So what was, what was the most fun part about coming back for this Guardian sequel? Oh my god, I have to say the four hours of green makeup every day. <laughs> Waking up at 2.45 in the morning, it was a blast for us. 
Uh, um, no, seriously, I think the best part is just coming back and working with my friends, working with people that I love, that, that you know, we knew that we had something super special because James gave us the opportunity to just be super crazy with our characters in the first installment and coming back you, it's, it almost felt like we were we had just taken like a summer break and then we were working together so it was it, this movie's gonna have twice as more fun they're super fucking crazy <laughs> they fight all the time and Gamora's become like this this old lady that is always like stop it stop it stop it so it's fun Excellent. Sorry for sorry for the F U C K. You know, it, we're all mostly adults, and you know what? Kids have the internet, so fuck it. Uh, you know what? I'll take I'll take the grenade. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> no. Uh, Karen, I saw you running your fingers through your hair, which is very funny because. It was we, real. Yeah, the last time you were up here, you had the wig, oh. you pulled it off and threw it. I know. Yeah. That was a kind of weird moment in my life. That was cool. <laughs> but now I have hair, which is really exciting. I look like a female, not a really long baby. <laughs> I'm pleased by that. I've never heard anyone say a long baby before. <laughs> So how, how did you get around having to shave your head this time? These guys let me keep my hair, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yeah, oh, yeah. we met in the middle. Let's yeah. admit. There's like an undershave, which is the grossest word in the world. I know. <laughs> still, a little, still a little more tolerable than having to shave your entire head. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Pom, sitting next to you, what can you? Is there anything you can tell us about it? What can you? What can you tell us about about this? Uh, I'm a new character called Mantis, and uh, I'm an alien. I have uh, empathic powers, and um, I spent my life with uh, Kurt Russell's character before meeting all the Guardians. That's it. Excellent. <laughs> Dave Batista, my question for you is, um, we you please... <laughs> my question for Batista is, will you please take your shirt off? Uh, <laughs> oh, you don't have to. It's all right. You can if you want. Come on, tell uh, <laughs> what can you tell us about where Drax is at now? What can you tell us about Guardians 2? He's, uh, you know, there's not much of a time gap between the first film and this film. Yeah. So he's, I think, if anything, he's just more confused. Because <laughs> now he's surrounded by people using metaphors and he's just, you know, he's trying to figure it out. He kind of understands what a metaphor is, but he doesn't really. He tries to pretend like he does. So he's just in a lot of confusion, which makes for a lot of good laughs. Excellent. And then Elizabeth, uh, Aisha, is there anything you can tell the audience about Aisha? Well, Aisha is the leader of a, 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 a species of people we haven't seen yet, the sovereign people. And she enlists the help of the guardians and things turn quite sour. Excellent. I'm just going to leave it there. All right. And then Kurt Russell. Yay! I'm told you can't really say much about what you're doing in this film. Is that true? It, you know, it's it's great to come here to Comic Con. You guys are wonderful. But for me personally, this is great because I had no idea that these girls out of costume were as fantastically beautiful as they are. It's incredible that we were around this all the time, and I think you know I knew. Um, yeah, my guy. Um, is a, I, I think James wrote a great character. I was really honored to have the opportunity to play it. It's a great thing when you get the chance to play characters that hopefully you will make memorable. And um, if you can make a few in your lifetime, that's great. And I hope that this one is. I had a great time with these guys. They're fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell don't you run for president, Kurt Russell? Yeah. See that betting progress go somewhere. <laughs> uh, and of course, you know, Michael Rooker, you know, I, I remember after the first movie, I would see you kind of put corner James Gunn and be like, more Yondu! So you feel like you got what you were bullying him to get. <laughs> I was never bullying him. Bully. I'm bullying. I think, before you even ask the question, I think 
Tanya in this new uh, uh, version here is is much more forgiving. Get out of here. You see on the screen, I'm very forgiving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, no, I never bully. All right. You don't think I you think I bully? Well, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Every time I remember being. We worked together before. You know that. Right? I I know. I know. You've been, you've been, you've been, you've been, you've been on my you've therapy been couch been before. We talked. About talk, talk, talk. the time you lost your hand on that other That's show. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just, I remember being at a party at James' house and then Rooker would just walk by and go, Yondu! Like, <laughs> <laughs> you made, you made Yondu cookies and brought them to a party! That's right, I did! <laughs> there were these blue-head Yondu cookies! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he also had Shameless! My cat. He also kept my cat in Hawk for a couple weeks while I was finishing the trip. <laughs> Say you needed to be a certain page count. And I was also asking every day, did you finish the cookies? Did you eat those cookies? It was so weird eating your face in front of you. You made me do that. You're like, you're like, it's good, eat it. Like, it's weird. Uh, you, have, you guys have another announcement that's Guardians related. Well, I do, right? What? Should we what? announce it? Let's announce it. Announce it! Guardians of the Galaxy, I have a lot of loves, everyone on this stage, everyone in that hall, movies, and Disney theme parks. It's something that I really, really love, and the fact that the Guardians of the Galaxy, directed by James Gunn, starring many of the people on this stage, are finally coming to a major theme park attraction is pretty damn exciting. Joe Brody, who's here somewhere, and we couldn't be more excited. It's going to be very cool opening, hopefully sometime uh, next summer, not too far away from when the new movie comes out, and also, Benicio Del Toro will be returning as the collector for this ride. Yeah. So, we're all here. Did you bring anything else you want to show us? You know, I mean, I think I, you know, I... I Come on, man, like... Show us something! Uh, look, the rabbit are really something. cool, and... Yandu is amazing as the newest uh, Ravager, or newest uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. And, uh, but th I think people want to see a little bit more.
Please stick around.